All right guys, welcome back to the workshop. Today I have another unboxing video for you guys. And the question of the day today is, how good is this generic mini USB powered ceiling fan? So we're gonna unbox it and check it out. This time I haven't touched it at all. I haven't opened it. This is how it came out of the Amazon box. Yes, I bought it from Amazon. And it was 23, I think, $23. And I do know that these kinds of fans are far more common in Southeast Asia, but here in North America, these are not common at all. I know that some people use them for like off-grid living or, you know, when they go on camping, but I just bought this purely for testing purposes. I've seen these on Amazon occasionally and I've always been curious on how these perform or how their quality is like. So we're going to find out. So this is going to be the unboxing and first impressions video of this is that the brand Wei Yi? Wei Yi? I don't know how to pronounce that. 17 inch USB ceiling fan. So like, we'll take a look at the features. Three blades, DC power input. Low noise, high wind speed, easy installation. Yeah, and I did make a <laughs> translation fail video right before unboxing this. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the uh, link to that video up here in the little eye that shows up. So, major translation fails going on here. So anyways, we're going to unbox this, we'll check it out, and we'll give it a first run to see how it is. So, looks like there's no tape on here, so I want to make sure the camera is not pointing anywhere else. Alright, let's take a look at this. Okay, pretty basic packaging. Doesn't look like we have any instruction manuals, but we do have fan blades. Not the best trimming there of the mold, but okay, it's not broken. It's all here. This kind of feels brittle. There's not a whole lot of flex that happens when you apply force to it, which is a little concerning if you were to hit it by accident when it's running. These might shatter, but there are the blades. I'll set that aside. I'll take out the fan motor. Oh wow, this is, this is way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so this does match the image here. It looks like you can get a green one too. That's pretty cool. So let's uh, open this. Oh wait. <laughs> they have the twist tie here, but the bag is still open. Wow. That is some top notch packaging right there. Oops, there goes the twist tie. Nothing else in the box, so. Here is the motor unit. You know, actually, first impressions wise, the quality doesn't seem too bad. You have some information here. Six watts, DC five volts. Okay, so here's the hanging hook. We got a lengthy USB cable with a switch. Switch feels pretty decent quality. There's a nice snap to it. USB cable. Yeah, let's take a closer pan at this thing. It's got a little canopy here. Some of the electronics inside there are visible. This thing's actually kind of neat. I might do a teardown on this thing just to see what's going on inside there. But first impressions are actually not too bad. Definitely not as bad as the translation. All right, so let's set this up somewhere. Um, I have no idea if I can hang it in my workshop, but we'll find a spot and we'll put it together and do a first run on this thing. But first I'll have to assemble this. So it looks like these just 
snap in there's a little it's too dark in there but there's a little bump that sticks out that kind of fits into this hole so i'm guessing it just snaps in okay there was a click right there so i'm guessing that's in let's try it with this one These feel so fragile. There's blade number two. Come on. All right, all three blades are in. This is actually way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I knew it was gonna be 17 inches, but it just seems way smaller in person. All right, so I'm going to, oh wait, before I get that, I did buy a two amp charger just for this video. All right, so here's the USB charger we're gonna be using for the test. Looks very much like an Apple charger, but anyways. So we're gonna put these to the test. All right, it is up and ready to go for its first test. I have it installed on a little Velcro strap here, only as a temporary mount. But I gotta say, it actually looks pretty good. I initially had very mixed opinions about these plastic blue accents, but now that I think about it, it actually looks pretty good. So anyways, I have the wire running down this shelf into the power adapter. And also, if you guys remember back in one of the moving blogs, I did a video of this little guy. It's still here, it still hasn't ran since that vlog, but it's not going away anytime soon. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and flick the switch and see how it does. All right. You know what? It actually isn't too bad. It's moving some air. It's fairly quiet. It doesn't seem to be too bad at all. Let's take a closer look at it while it's running. It seems to be very well balanced. There's hardly a wobble. Blade pitch wise. Oh yeah, <laughs> very inconsistent, but no wobble, that's pretty impressive. It's moving a good breeze actually. It's definitely not silent, it's got a bit of a motor hum to it. It just sounds like a USB fan, you know, it's got that pulsating sound you often hear from USB fans. I'm not sure if the camera's picking this up, but sometimes it has a bit of a ticking sound. So maybe there's something rubbing in the motor, maybe it's a bearing issue. So I'll probably have to open this up and see what's going on there. But other than that, it's not bad. Let's go ahead and shut it off. It's probably going to come to a stop really quickly just because of how these motors work. Yep. All right, so gotta say my first impressions is just okay. You know, it's, it's what I expected. I didn't expect too much from it. It moves air, it's fairly quiet, and the quality actually doesn't seem as bad as I thought, or at least definitely not as bad as the translation. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, in a few months, or I don't know, sometime in the near future, I'll be back with a more of a long-term review, see how this thing holds up. I'll put it to use and see how it does. All right, guys, well, that is going to wrap up this unboxing and first test of this USB-powered mini ceiling fan. If you guys haven't seen that translation fail on the box, check out the video right here. Um, if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.
and I'll catch you guys in the next one.